Hello and welcome to the True Symposium series, episode number five. My name is Randy Leopondo. I'm the training and education manager for True Fitness. And joining me today is True Trainer Jessica Cameron. Hello. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Today we're going to be going over our group training system known as the Atlas. We have two versions and the first one we're going to talk about is the Atlas HD. We are actually at One Life Fitness in Ballpark Village, St. Louis because they've got the Atlas HD. So special shout out to those guys and letting us do this here. Um, well, you know, the American Council on Exercise for 2020, they continue to say that group training is still a trend and it's been a, it's been a trend for the last probably four or five years. Mm -hmm. Some facilities have group training systems or rigs as some of them call it for their group training uh, program. One Life chose the Atlas HD. So um, Jess here has worked with the Atlas HD, um, conducting classes, training clients on it. I mean, uh, that's why I have her here to talk a little bit about what you like so much about the Atlas. Well, there are so many things I love about the Atlas. I think the beauty of it is it brings the users, the tools, and all the accessories together in one zone. So it's nice, it's convenient, everything's organized. There's so many stations and so many different ways to work your clients and create unique stations. So I love the Atlas for that. So you mentioned you got all your accessories like your kettlebells and dumbbells handy. One thing that we try to do with our group training system is provide storage solutions as standard. So for example, on our Atlas, these storage racks here come standard. What I do want to point out is straight out of the box, the Atlas is a great unit. And I know that some of you have ordered or been through the process of ordering your rigs and it could be a little bit overwhelming and even confusing. So we're, we're trying to make it easier for you as a buyer to configure your Atlas. But first, the standard features. Yes, so the Atlas comes loaded with so many standard features. Um, one of the standard features is the core trainer here. So it's one of my favorites. It is the core trainer or landmine. Great full body, great power exercises you can do with this, strength moves. People really love it. I love it. It's very hard and challenging. And then we'll come this way and I'll show you some of the other standard features. So over here we have a step, which is more than just a step, it's adjustable, it's amazing. You can do push-ups on this, jumps, steps, Bulgarian split squats. It's a beautiful option. You can move it up and down or remove it completely to give yourself more space. So I love that. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. <laughs> Great option, or another standard option is the dip bar. So this also is adjustable. It's fabulous. So many things you can do with this as well. Uh, we need another video to show you all the things you can do with all these pieces that are standard. But anyway, that's another video. So this is standard. And then we have the whiteboard here, which is great for trainers to use and the clients because you can write down the workout and clients know what's coming and you can easily show them what is going to be on the menu for the day, <laughs> the fitness menu. Um, over here, we have the medicine ball rings and this is a great place to store your medicine balls, keep them out of the way, it's safer that way. A lot of people trip on those guys. So it's nice to put them out of the way. They can also, they're adjustable and can move so it fits your space. So those are amazing. And then the last feature that is standard is the rope rack, which is also great to keep the ropes out of the way, have a nice sleek system and safe, clean. So that's why I like this. Let me point out again, I didn't really do a good job explaining it first, but the storage option you see here, the two storage trays and the accessory hanger, standard. On this side of the Atlas, the three storage trays, standard and we also have an accessory kit so if you don't feel like shopping around for different vendors on how to equip your storage trays with accessories like dumbbells kettlebells medicine balls we do have an option so it's a one-stop shop so just mentioned all the standard features now you can still customize your atlas we do have some options for you i'm going to try to explain this in five easy steps Okay, and these steps are on our website, 
So you can look on our website, find the Atlas page, and see the different, um, the listing of five items that you need to choose from to outfit your Atlas. So let's start with step number one. Step number one is you choose your monkey bars if you want seven or 10 rungs, okay? So you start, that's where you start, that's number one. Number two, the cross frame, both sides of the cross frame can accommodate either a pull-up bar or the suspension brackets that you see here. But it's just an option. You don't even have to put that if you don't want to, if you have a budget concern. But otherwise, those are the two options available. So you can put your fav one of your favorite, one of my favorite devices. The TRX or any suspension training system I love. Uh, it's great full body, takes up minimal space. It's great to modify with multiple populations. And then these brackets are nice because it preserves the finish on your system. Good point. So it, it decreases the wear and tear, which is a nice option. So. Good point, good point. Yeah. If we can come over here, The next option you'll have to determine if you want this for your facility is, this is known as the end frame A, or the front of the unit. We have several options for this, okay? So One Life chose the heavy bag. And I know Jess likes a heavy bag because she's a certified <laughs> kickboxing instructor, so I know she loves this. Some other options on this end that you can choose from are two different functional trainers. You can choose a half rack, that's built specifically for this. Once again, they all attach to the unit. There's an overhead ball target, which we have on the other side and I'll show you later. There's a rope flex or a rope pull uh, mechanism that can fit on there. And I think, oh, and the flying monkey bars. Oh yeah. The flying monkey Forget bars. Forget those. <laughs> yeah. You can look all that online too. So this is upper end frame B. Let's go with the next option that you need to do or at least need to consider if you want to customize your atlas. This is known as the uh, end frame B, upper end frame B. Here you can choose from, uh, you have a few choices like the overhead target that One Life decided to go with. There is the flying monkey bars, the rope flex, and suspension trainer bracket, or you don't have to put anything at all. So those are the options for this upper end frame. Lower end frame B, you can choose nothing, or for Jess, since she doesn't have a lot of friends, you choose <laughs> kind of introverted. a rebounder. So uh, you've got a rebounder for medicine ball training and so forth. I know you you like the rebounder, I'm just giving you trouble. I do, yeah, I love it for um, just good core exercises, good hand-eye coordination, those types of things. There's multiple things you can do with this as well, so just, pretty much limitless what you can do with the Atlas and all the features that you can add or that are standard. Okay. Um, is there anything else we missed, Jess? I, do, I did want to point this out. Another distinguishing feature of the Atlas is that it doesn't need to be anchored down. It ah. um, doesn't need to be bolted into the ground, which is makes it, again, so versatile. And Because I think you work in a facility that has a rig unit and it's bolted, right? Right. So yeah. you, you're kind of committed to yeah. that. Yeah, so we're nailed have, down. Yeah. So a lot of times they, some facilities have to work, build around their rig unit. Here, you, we can, you can have our Atlas. It's well designed where it's well balanced. You don't need to anchor it. It is recommended, but you don't have to. Yeah. But if you need to move it because you're remodeling or decide to change up your space, you can move it. It's awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. I, think, I think we covered everything. Um, you know, There's so much to talk about. There yeah. is. Oh, I just got a text. I will be right back. Okay. Don't move. Okay. All right. I'm back. Sorry for the delay, but that text was from Frank, and he wanted me to make sure that I spent some time talking about the Atlas 200, which is directly behind me. So I'm back at the showroom to show it to you. So behind me is the Atlas 200. As you can see, the footprint is a lot smaller than the HD. Um, it's about six by nine or six by 10 compared to the HD unit, which is 17 by 15 feet. But don't let the size fool you. It can still accommodate six to eight users in a relatively smaller space. So if your club can't quite uh, hold the HD, you've got the Atlas 200 as an option. 
However, with the current pandemic and the social distancing guidelines and recommendations, I'll probably suggest that for the Atlas 200, you'd knock it down from six to eight users to four to six. And with the HD, which I think I failed to mention, it's able to accommodate 10 to 12 users. I'd probably knock it down to eight to 10, but again, that's gonna be dependent on the space around it and how you place your Atlas um, at your facility. So once again, behind me is the Atlas 200. What you'll notice right away at the front of the unit is that there's a functional trainer that's attached to it. Reason being is you need for the Atlas 200 to choose between one of four functional trainers that we have to offer or a half rack specifically designed for the Atlas 200. Again, that's to hold the actual unit up. If you come over this way, this is a very popular option. It's our um, top of the line cross trainer or dual adjustable cable column. One really cool feature I wanna show you real quick is our rotating columns. These columns rotate 360 degrees, which is great. And if you want to practice the social distancing uh, recommendations, let's say you have someone here in the middle performing pull-ups, you can always come over here and perform the exercise and get out of their way. So through here, you can see it at the front of the Atlas as well is the rope rack that comes standard, just like on the HD. Let's swing around this way. On the side of our unit, we have the optional, I'm sorry, the standard step, much like the HD. You can put the step here or you can put the dip bar. You can interchange the location. The dip bar, or the tricep dip bar um, comes standard as well. Moving along back of the unit, if you look on our website, this is an area where you can configure and customize if you'd like. It's the upper end frame B. You can choose to do nothing, or you can put on what we chose to put on in our showroom here, the rope flex drum. You can also put the heavy bag like you saw on the HD unit. And you can also put a suspension bracket up there, or nothing at all, like I mentioned. You've got a whiteboard here as well. It's a little bit smaller in this unit, but whiteboard, dry erase board, you can write down exercises, programming, you know, your whole menu of exercises on that. Moving right along, storage. We try to provide storage solutions with the Atlas. That comes with the unit as part of the base unit standard is the two trays, accessory trays, as well as the accessory hanger. A no cost option would be to delete this and add another tray on top. So you have three trays. And much like the HD as well, medicine ball rings. We've got five that come with the unit. We have an accessory kit that's available for the Atlas that you can choose from that will help you with the medicine balls, kettlebells, dumbbells, jump ropes, tubing, all that good stuff that you can have ready to go when you have your Atlas delivered. Other than that, I think um, that's all I have. A quick little tidbit on the Atlas 200. I'll open up the, the floor for any questions regarding either the HD or the 200. Dom, the Atlas HD warranty, we have a 10 year on the frame. And uh, what else do we have, Angie, on that? 10 years on parts. 10 years on parts. Labor is one year. Labor is one year. And cosmetic encoding is three months. Cosmetic encoding is three months. Thank you, Angie. The Atlas HD is around 17 by 15. Um, it'll also kind of depend on how you configure it and what accessories you put on it, but that's the general footprint. Okay. Um, and I have one that's kind of related in how much overall space is needed. So do you need any additional space besides the footprint? How much additional space do we need besides the footprint? I'd like to recommend about a six foot perimeter for your exercisers. You can do it a little bit less, but um, six is my recommendation. Okay. Um, and then Tyler would like to know what functional trainers, um, are, are there other items that are available to attach to the Atlas? On the Atlas? The, this one's 200 and the HD. 
So uh, the question is, are there additional uh, pieces of machinery or functional trainers you can attach? Yes, there is. We have four functional trainers to choose from for the 200, only two to choose from for the HD. And then um, in regards to accessories, uh, we're gonna have a little bit less options on the 200 in terms of how you can configure it. And then the HD does have a lot of additional things you can choose from. We do have that information on the website as well. And there's actually more storage solutions that you can keep adding on to the end of the Atlas and Atlas HD. And that concludes our questions. Thank you very much for viewing. Hope this helped. And stay tuned next time. Oh, we got another question. <laughs> Last minute. Um, how would like to know does the HD fit comfortably in a rack-and-ball court uh, with cardio pieces and others? Pat asks if it fits in a racquetball court. Uh, is that what the question is? Obviously, it depends on the size of the racquetball court. Uh, for sure, the Atlas 200. And the HD with a bigger footprint, um, it, uh, I believe it will fit. I believe it will, um, you'll be able to have the perimeter that you need to perform all the exercises safely. And then um, Danny would like to know if there's custom color options. There are custom color options. You can ask your sales rep for more details on that. And so last call for questions. Last call. Okay. Um, one more, Buddy would like to know um, if it's designed for outdoors. Buddy asked if this was designed for outdoors. It is not. We uh, don't have any special coding for the outdoors, but um, I think people have gone on their own to put on some of the uh, necessary or appropriate coding for it. Um, Bo would like to know approximate time for install. Approximate time for install, I think the lead time, generally speaking, is eight weeks, but you'll have to ask your sales rep regarding that since everything's sort of different right now with, the, with everything going on in the world. Danny, regarding the accessory packs, um, there's a lot to choose from. We try to make it just one package not, instead of piecing it all together. That's available on our website. If you find um, group sy training systems and look under Atlas, you'll see what the accessories include. There's, there's a good amount of items that we try to um, include in that. Okay, once again, thank you very much. And tune in next time for the sixth symposium, and we're gonna cover our 400 series cardio. That'll be Wednesday, July 8th. In the meantime, be safe, be healthy. See you next time.